Uh, first, uh, just your reaction to uh, taking the title there. Uh, you know, how does it feel? Uh, it's amazing. I, I, I don't even know. Going to double OT, putting that goal in the net, and getting our first, our school's first uh, district championship it feels great. Yeah. Uh, it feels amazing, especially after the game we just played against St. John's. This game tops it, I think. Great opponent and uh, second district champion this year for me and Budio after hockey, too. And we're on our way to get another state. That's our goal. Right. Yeah, uh, Joe, can you talk about, uh, you know, uh, coming down there for the for the winner, what you saw in that play, what what the call was, and what it felt like when you saw it go in? Um, I, don't, there, I don't think there was a call. I just yeah. started going to the net and beat my guy, so I was like, I might as well just shoot it. So when I saw that ball in the net, I ran right to Corbin to like, oh, congratulate the whole team. Yeah. And then playing in that uh, overtime where first first goal wins, uh, what's that like on the defensive uh, end? Uh, it's pretty stressful, but like we've been doing all year, we've been locking it down. Best defenseman in Central Mass and one of the best defensemen uh, defense in Massachusetts. And that's what we've been doing all year, just locking it down. That's what we did the last 20 minutes of the game. Yep, uh, big third quarter for you guys. I think six goals. Uh, came back and tied it up after the halftime deficit. Uh, what was the... Uh, <laughs> what was the thought around the team? Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Fixed me there. Yeah, I saw you. I knew something was coming. <laughs> our coach was like, I, Coach Girl wants to say we're not going down without a fight. Uh, we are a second half team, so we just came out there and the ball was going our way. Uh, Norman had, a, I think, three assists on guys coming down the field, so it was awesome. Yeah. Hey, can you talk about uh, just being that aggressive and, uh, you know, uh, and and what what you're trying to do with that, trying to set up the offense coming that far forward? Yeah, um, I'm locking down the wings and they're leaving me a place to run, so I'm pretty, I think I'm pretty fast. So I just ran, they came to me, left someone open, it worked every time. Feel pretty confident in the open field like that, though? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and with this group, uh, a lot of firsts for you guys, and also you had the, the hockey state title. You guys feel like uh, you can keep this going forward and, and uh, maybe pull off the state title now? I think so. I mean, we know what it takes to win on this team. Most of our one third of the guys are hockey players, so we know what it takes to win. Redfield's going to be a real tough opponent, but we got to keep trying it out and try to get to that state title game and bring home the state again. Yeah, exactly. Just That's keep cool. keep going. Keep going uh, against Medfield. Medfield's a good team, so we're going to have to bring our A game. So then beat them, uh, then we'll get to the state title. Yep. Uh, any other shout outs or anything you guys want to uh, give? I shout out to Mrs. Halley. She hasn't been to a game in over a year and a half. Besides the Watchers game, that was a terrible outing. And it was a great game for her to come on. She's a great she's a great fighter. She's, a, she's the person behind the scene that keeps us fighting, and we won this for her. Our coach and co captains of the Colonials of Shrewsbury to come forward to receive the championship trophy.